Hello, this is Rory with Love Chat, and today's topic is loneliness. Now, this is video number 165. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and hit like, as it really does help my channel grow. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, how to deal with loneliness. It's a problem that we all deal with when we're going through a breakup, and even in just our regular day-to-day -day life. Feeling lonely, I firmly believe, is part of learning how to love yourself. Because we're so used to feeling this emptiness that must be filled with different people, different activities, that we become absolutely mortified at the prospect of being alone. Effectively, we've created a new behavior and it makes us really scared. So one of the biggest reasons people don't want to break up, other than obviously you're losing somebody in your life, is that you're mortified of being alone. And yet think about how many people are feeling alone right now. Being alone has a lot more to do with having limited quality rather than unlimited quantity. In other words, you can be completely surrounded by other people and still feel alone. Now, why is that? Because basically what we're doing here is, yes, there are many people. Maybe you're at a coffee shop with your laptop. Maybe you're in a busy city. There are people everywhere. So why do you feel alone? The real answer is that you don't have many good quality connections, many people in your life that you feel truly understand you. The reality is that human beings are social creatures. And we do thrive with social contact. However, this needs to be a certain type of social contact. And after a while, the internet's not going to cut it. We need to be able to go out to see people, to go to coffee shops with friends, to go out on meetups, go do hikes, things like that. I've brought this up many times, and I'm going to bring it up one more time. From a young age, all of us are taught that if we want to have a social interaction or make a friend... It's easy, because all you need to do is go to school, take a class, right? Maybe find a friend at your job. And the problem is that as you get older, these social constructs disappear from your life. In other words, if you want friends, you actually have to go make the effort to get friends. Because you don't have to go to school. You're not forced into making friends, whether you like it or not, which is something that school very much does because there's a common enemy. And the common enemy is school. I guess what I would say to people who are feeling lonely is that everyone feels lonely. And so it's sort of ironic, right? Because in your feelings of loneliness, there's actually great camaraderie. What I can say is that one of the things that helped me alleviate loneliness was turning outside of myself. In other words, I would go to places where I knew that people needed help, like shelters, especially animal shelters. I would meet people and I'd be doing a good thing at the same time. I definitely made big use of meetup.com, and I've said this before, I am not paid by them or endorsed by them in any way, shape, or form. I simply use their service, and I believe in it. So really what we're dealing with here is a loneliness epidemic, and it's our job to understand that if we want friends and good quality connections, that we have to put in the work. Because guess what? Everybody sits at home saying, why am I the one that always must contact first? Why can't I be contacted by friends? But our job is to rise above and lead by example. So, you have plenty of friends that you've met at school or maybe at your job. Reach out to them. Invite them out. Throw a party at your house for no reason. Go get coffee. Learn about one of their interests, like maybe doing 5Ks and see if you can join in. Or, meet new friends. Go on Meetup. And don't forget to use this time where you're learning about yourself and what you're capable of to love yourself. That's all I have for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and free giveaways of my book coming out at the end of July, just visit my Patreon. Patreon.com slash TheLoveChat. Until next time.